Hi everyone, I am Dr. Shahan Laik and today in this video, I will teach you a very very important concept that is hallucination versus pseudo hallucination. Many students don't know what is the difference between hallucination and pseudo hallucination. People generally know the difference between hallucination and illusion and that is also very common but today i will teach you what is the difference between hallucination and pseudo hallucination because question has come in fmg neat pg and initiate examination regarding pseudo hallucination so if you don't know about pseudo hallucination that is very very important so let us learn what is the difference between hallucination and pseudo hallucination now look at this picture here on the left side we have true hallucination on the right side we have pseudo hallucination now what is true hallucination true hallucination means the qualities of real perception that means the patient will think the patient will understand that it is a real perception which is there in the outside world which is there in the outside world the patient can actually hear it suppose the patient is having auditory hallucination so the patient can actually hear that someone is talking in his or her ears so through the sense organ the person can realize that it is a real perception the qualities of real perception is there in true hallucination as if it is real true hallucination but in case of pseudo hallucination the patient will think that the hallucination is coming from the mind it is there inside the person inside the patient only the patient will not think that it will come from outside it is from inside it is inside the mind of the patient that is pseudo hallucination and the hallucination is not clear it is not as real perception so the perception is also not real it is not real the patient will understand it is something inside the mind or of his mind it is not coming from outside and it is not real the patient can understand that is pseudo hallucination next is true hallucination is un controllable uncontrollable you cannot control the patient say i cannot control when someone uh, speaks to me someone talks to me in in my ears so that is auditory hallucination the patient cannot control it uncontrollable true hallucination but pseudo hallucination it somehow somehow the patient say he can control totally it is not controllable but it is a little bit controllable so pseudo hallucination a little bit controllable which occurs inside the patient's mind it is inside the patient it is not outside pseudo hallucination is inside the patient mind and the patient can control a little bit little bit controllable so it is controllable next is true hallucination perceived as outside subjective space i told you true hallucination means a hallucination which is occurring from outside the patient it is occurring from outside subjective space that is known as outside subjective space so outside the patient the hallucination is there from there it is coming so the source of hallucination is outside that is the patient will perceive someone is speaking from outside in his ear so the um, the perception is from outside outside subjective space it is coming from perceived as uh, outside subjective space but in case of pseudo hallucination the patient will uh, say that the hallucination is coming from inside of the mind inside of his mind someone is speaking in the mind and someone is speaking and that is also not clear so it is within the subjective space within the patient within the patient mind within the subjective space that is within the subjective space that is pseudo hallucination okay now true hallucination is perceived in sensory organ sensory organs are involved in true hallucination for example eyes the patient is seeing something in his eyes through his eyes that is visual hallucination or the patient is hearing a voices that is through his ears that is uh, true hallucination all these are true hallucination 
where the sensory organ are involved suppose the patient is hearing voice so ear is involved suppose the patient is seeing something so eyes is involved so these are perceived in sensory organ sensory organs is involved in true hallucination but in case of pseudo hallucination what is happening the patient is saying some voices is there in my mind and within my mind and that is also i cannot hear it properly i cannot understand it properly saying something or something so it is perceived inside the body and the um, sensory organs are not involved so it is not involved so, uh, the sensory organ is not involved in pseudo hallucination the sensory organs are not involved remember next is lost insight where true hallucination true hallucination lost insight the patient has lost the insight the patient cannot uh, understand actually the insight is lost okay properly the insight is not there in case of true hallucination but in case of pseudo hallucination the patient is conscious the patient has intact intact insight insight is not lost in case of pseudo hallucination so let us revise what is the difference between the true hallucination and pseudo hallucination because it is important topic for fmg need pg and initiate -E examination so what is true hallucination basically true hallucination means some voices the patient can hear or some visual hallucination the patient can see so here the qualities are as if real perception the qualities of real perception is there really the patient can see something or hear something so it is real perception but in case of pseudo hallucination it is not clear as well as uh, as real perception as real perception is not there the patient will say something is there in my mind someone says something in my mind and i and the patient can understand it is inside their mind and it is also not vivid it is not clear also so remember pseudo hallucination are not clear not vivid they uh, are not clear as real perception now true hallucination are uncontrollable the patient cannot control the hearing voices or the patient cannot control seeing something so it is uncontrollable patient cannot control but whatever inside the mind like the pseudo hallucination is to some extent the patient can control next is perceived as outside subjective space the true hallucination are always perceived outside the subjective space but pseudo hallucination inside the subjective space and in true hallucination the sensory organs like the ears and the eyes are involved but in case of pseudo hallucination no the sensory organs like eyes and ears are not involved next is insight is completely lost insight is lost in case of a hallucination true hallucination but insight is intact the patient can understand in case of the pseudo hallucination so these are the differences between true hallucination and pseudo hallucination which is very very important for your exam thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe this channel don't go without subscribing this channel this channel contains so many medical videos free of cost you can watch you just need to subscribe it thank you so much